that reel is going to join our brand new 28 Masuda Blizzard. Masuda Blizzard. That's the percher. So let's get on them. Four pound test, Kyle? Yeah. Going on to the Masuda Blizzard 28 lights with a Scuba Steve inline reel. I don't know what the ratio is on this one, but uh, it would be a lot better than my uh, Rapala flat stick that's a one to one ratio. So, pretty excited to use this. Pretty much got to the bolt launch and uh, just popped out, found our secret spot that we like to, to fish at, hit about 10 feet and gradually go a little lower and there's a little island and away we go. So Yeah, so basically the location we're at right now. The shoreline drops off and then it comes out to this plateau that's at about 10 feet and the plateau has a little sunken island next to it. The top of that sunken island I believe is about Eight feet, eight feet yeah. and then uh, just past the island, past this little plateau we're sitting on, it drops straight down to 15 feet in a matter of maybe 20 or 30 yards. So we're at the top of a nice drop off. We're next to an island. Aaron's getting bites <laughs> like crazy here. Yeah, and, uh, we got some pike in here too as well. We can go after and yeah, you bet. Yeah, I haven't set the stick outside, but. We're perching, buddy. Yeah, it's nice to catch some perch and not have to worry about that big pike. Like, I haven't, there's another one. I haven't seen a per, uh, pike on the camera yet, and it's just, it's full. And there's a decent size. That's probably the biggest one of the day so far. Like, honestly, but you know what? I'd catch a, a million fish all day and About not even keep here, one. You might want to start stacking them up. Yeah. I mean, I will be deep frying one and eating it whole today. You what? Yeah, absolutely. Say that again. I'm going to deep fry a fish today and eat it whole from the head to the tail. You're gross. Yeah, I commented on wee fishing. So I said, you know, if that's the way he ate a full fish, and I, I was blown away. But I said, if that's if there's any way to eat a fish, that's the way I do it. So, you know, he said, well, try it, see how it tastes. I said, absolutely, it's done. Challenge accepted. So let's get her going. <laughs> we'll start with this one. Maybe we'll make it a small one, see how it does, and maybe we'll deep fry them all. Right on. Let's ice this guy. All right. Well, that's on the Vexlar today. That's a lot of perch. They're all tiny, but. So we're definitely on some small ones. right down what you got on there today Aaron just a little tiny piece of mealworm and a uh, purple scuba Steve jig head four mil tungsten always on the scuba Steve eh? you know what I just use stuff that works and I constantly catch fish on these no matter what which piece I use so as you can see we're on some uh, we're on some small guys today and as soon as I drop down, they see it and they start coming. All right. So you just see, they are all small, roughly the same size. We've caught in quite a few today. And they just seem to just. I'm blocking your screen. It's okay. You fish by feel, buddy. Yeah. You know, old school. Well, I got this. Yeah, got a fish on. All right, so it's that easy, but I mean, they are small. We're only bringing them up from about less than 10 feet, I think. 10 feet 13 feet of water. 13 feet of water, so it's not going to kill them. You know, you're not bringing them up from 30 feet and bonking them. But I mean, you know, we might luck out and get a big jumbo. You just never know. We're swimming back down, healthy as can be. Yeah. You guys are already gone. Little rockets. But yeah, that's the Vexlar. Have a look at the camera now insane so I mean it's in color it's got a uh, it's got a light on it that kind of illuminates all the perch I don't run it with the light on because yeah it just kills the battery but the battery's got a, it it's got like a nine hour nine hour runtime so it's for the rugged fisherman who's going to be fishing like this and as you can see we're in the ice house today 
and hopefully that just that just works for us and if not later on we can run the generator and then get some power going and uh yeah that's pandemonium today yeah that's it's pretty crazy to see all those perch i just love to see some big ones go after it so i'm switching up put a bigger piece of bait on to just entice those bigger bigger ones and uh, we'll see what happens but they just scuba steves brings them to the yard <laughs> That's insane. How do you feel about the amount of perch on the screen today, Aaron? I'm ecstatic. I, I've been, we've been catching a fish a minute for the last 30 minutes, so you do the math. Yeah. I mean, it's it's hard to miss them when there's that uh, many on the screen. Those bigger ones seem to follow it down. Like when you, yeah, there we go, another little tiny one. He jumped he off. Jumped off right there. And that's a bigger piece too. Put a bigger. What happens? This is a perch slayer. That one. If you get that one from Steve, that's that's the main one to that you want to use. But we're out on a on Lake X again. Hopefully we'll get into some jumbo. Look at that. There's a jumbo on the screen right now. He might be just close, but uh, we'll see. Those are usually the ones that actually turn around, those beat up ones. See how he kind of, we'll see, there he is. Maybe he isn't a jumbo, but when they're close to camera, it's hard to tell how big they actually are. And that wasn't it, but another fish is just fish after fish. It's fun to do. It's, uh, you know, it could be time to move where we could go get on some bigger ones, but for now, you know, checking out the camera and showing you guys as well. There we go. Micro perch hunting. Out of the trailer. Non-stop action. Man, are they ever small though. Tiny. And there's that many of them on the screen. They gotta be tiny. Sometimes it's fun though. Yeah, micro perching still perching. It's perching. So. And it's fun to catch them because they're just a little bit of a challenge. You got to use smaller bait, smaller lures, and it's uh, you get to just see what they do. They they love to follow it down. As you can see, there's fifty thousand of them following it down right now. And you kind of get get the little tiny aggressive adolescent ones coming in and just hammering it. Supper time. We got some corn and potatoes, canned corn and canned potatoes, something quick, some elk steaks from our harvest this year from Mike, generous enough to give us some rib steaks, and some sautéed mushrooms, a little bit of garlic powder on top, and some garden fresh beets. Just cooking some supper. Jaw jacker goes off, of course, when you get busy. First pike of the day. Right on. Oh. I'm gonna have to get some pliers. Yep. Swallowed it pretty deep. It's gonna be a keeper anyway. We'll extract that. Give him the old bonk. Today's catch, a couple of iced perch and a keeper pike. Thanks to the brand new Masuda rod, 28 inch light, brand new inline reel from Scuba Steve. Thing drops the lightest of bait and tackle. Of course, can't forget to thank my good buddy Steve and his gear. That thing is awesome. That, that setup is just amazing. Along with the Vexlar, had a little bit of help in cheating and finding the perch, getting on them, catching them. Rod did its job. A little bit of help from Garmin with the sonar, and we're successful today. Found the jumbos.